Hi kids! Welcome back to my channel! So today, our lesson is about reading and measuring temperature using thermometer in degrees Celsius. So let's start with the situation. Mother wants to find out if her son has a fever. What is the best thing mother can use to find the body temperature of her sick son? May idea ba kayo? So, pwede tayong gumamit ng digital thermometer. So, ginagamit natin ang digital thermometer para malaman kung ano ang ating body temperature. So, mother can use a digital thermometer to find out if her son has a fever. A thermometer is an instrument for measuring temperature. A unit for measuring temperature is the degree Celsius. So, ito yung parts ng thermometer. So, meron ako dito, thermometer. So, first, the glass tube. So, ito yon. Kung makikita nyo sa picture, ito yung glass tube. So, the glass tube holds the glass bulb. So, yung glass bulb, ito yon. it contains mercury. And the mercury is the liquid inside the glass bulb which rises when hot and goes down when cold. So, ito naman yung ating scale. So, the scale tells how far the mercury rises or goes down. So, yun yung parts ng ating thermometer. Again, we have the glass tube, the glass bulb, the mercury, and the scale. Yung scale, ito yung numbers dito sa side. So, ito yung ating yan, degree Celsius. Ito yung ating unit or degree Fahrenheit. So, let's have an experiment. So, meron ako dito thermometer and hot water. So, ilagay natin itong thermometer sa hot water. So, what will happen to the mercury? Yan, unti-unti tumataas yung mercury. So, the mercury rises when hot. Kasi, nilagay natin sa sa hot water. So, tumataas yung mercury. So, ang ating temperature is 50 degrees Celsius. So, ilagay naman natin sa top water. So, yung tubig galit sa gripo. So, meron din ako ditong top water. So, ilagay natin. So, unti-unti siyang bumababa. So, the mercury goes down. So, top water natin is 25 degrees Celsius. 25 degrees Celsius. So, ilagay naman natin yung ating thermometer sa cold water. So, ano kaya ang mangyayari dun sa mercury? Kanina, tumaas siya no? nilagay natin sa hot water. Then, bumaba nung no? nilagay natin sa top water. Ano naman kayang mangyayari pag sa, sa cold water natin nilagay? So, bumababa siya. Ang bilis ng pagbaba ng mercury. Hindi pa nag-stop. So, ito nasa 5 degrees Celsius. So, the mercury goes down. So, the mercury goes down when cold. So, dun sa experiment natin, nalaman natin na ang mercury rises when hot and goes down when cold. Next, what is the temperature for each? So, first natin is boiling point. 
So, boiling point natin is 100 degrees Celsius. The freezing point of water is 0 degrees Celsius and the normal body temperature, the average normal body temperature is 37 degree Celsius. So, pag nag-38 degree Celsius na tayo, meron na kayong lagnat. Okay, so let's summarize our lesson. First question, what is a temperature? So, temperature is the hotness and the coldness of an object. What are the parts of thermometer? Parts ng thermometer, we have the glass tube, the glass bulb, mercury, and the scale. So, what is the metric unit for measuring temperature? So, the metric unit is degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. Next, let's read the temperature shown in each thermometer. So, letter A. So, what is the temperature? Letter A. So, nandun sa tapat ng zero. So, that is zero degree Celsius. So, ibig sabihin, that is the freezing point of water. So, letter B. So, the temperature is 100 degree Celsius. That is the boiling point of water. Letter C. The temperature is, is 30, 35, 36, 37. So, that is 37 degrees Celsius. The average um, normal body temperature. Next, letter D. We have 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, so let's solve problems involving temperature in real life situation. So, babasahin natin yung mga situation. So, first situation natin, Marcy was sent home by the school doctor because of high fever after giving her some medicine. Her temperature was 38.5 degrees Celsius. How many degrees higher is temperature from the normal body temperature? So, ang um, temperature ni Marcy is 38 degrees 38.5 degrees Celsius and the normal body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. So, para malaman natin kung ano ba yung kung gaano ba kataas yung kanyang fever from the normal body te temperature. So, kailangan natin isubtract. So, 38.5 minus 37 so, bring down natin yung 5. Then, 8 minus 7 is equals to 1. So, ang answer natin is 1.5 degrees Celsius. So, mas mataas daw ng 1.5 degrees Celsius ang kanya temperature kesa sa normal body temperature. So, ibig sabihin, si Marcy talaga ay may lagnat. So, 38.5 degrees Celsius. Next situation. It was cold in Tagaytay. The temperature reading in the morning was 20.8 degrees Celsius. In the afternoon, it rose to 25.4 degrees Celsius. How many degrees was changed in temperature? So, nung umaga, ang temperature was 20.8 degrees Celsius and then nung tanghali ay medyo tumaas yung temperature natin. So, that is 25.4 degrees Celsius. So, nagkaroon ba ng changes sa temperature? Yes, kasi from 20.8 degrees Celsius naging 25.4 degrees Celsius. So, ang hahanapin natin, ano ba yung naging change in temperature? So, we are going to subtract. So, hihiram tayo ng isa dito sa 5. So, magiging 4. So, yung 4 magiging 14. Then, saka natin A ma minus. So, 14 minus 8 is equals to 6. And then, 4 minus 0 is equals to 4. And then, lagay lang natin yung ating unit. So, degree Celsius. So, change in temperature natin is 4.5. 
6 degrees Celsius. So kids, thank, thank you for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!